And she was out there bathing. These was two elders of Israel. And those two elders came together to plot against Susanna's reputation. And they told her to lie with us. And if you don't lie with us, we will say that we saw you under a certain tree lying with a young man. And they tried to blackmail Susanna. And all of Israel believed the elders. But the Bible said the Spirit of the Lord came upon a young man named Daniel. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon Daniel. Daniel went to one of the elders and told him, you go to that room. Went to the other elder and said, you go to that room. Because both of the elders claimed that this was done under a certain tree. And Daniel said, what was the name of the tree? What kind of tree was it that you saw under? The elder called one tree. Daniel said, you liar. Now the wrath of God is ready to come upon you. Daniel went to the other elder and said, what tree was that you said you saw this woman under? He called another tree. And here Daniel said, the spirit of the Lord was against you both. So here you had two elders who was lusting at a woman. Susanna was a virtuous woman married to a wealthy man named Joachim. Two elders of the community became infatuated with Susanna's beauty and conspired to seduce her. They waited for an opportunity when Susanna was alone in her garden, and they approached her, demanding that she succumb to their desires or else they would accuse her of adultery with a young man. When Susanna refused their advances, the elders carried out their threat and publicly accused her of adultery, citing false witnesses to support their claim. As a result, Susanna faced a trial and risked being put to death for a crime she did not commit. However, a young man named Daniel intervened. He questioned the two elders separately, asking them under what tree they had seen Susanna commit the alleged adultery. Their conflicting testimonies exposed their lies, and Susanna was declared innocent. The elders were then put to death for bearing false witness, and Susanna's reputation was restored. This story illustrates themes of justice, virtue, and the consequences of bearing false witness.